คมทำตีกับมอน We were revising about the Soviet model of 28 May 1977. And Baba was explaining the qualifications of children who are equal and constantly seated on Baba's heart throne. Baba was also sharing that how when we are constantly with Baba, the intellect doesn't touch the ground. Then our stage is like the clock that reflects the time. So today we will continue from where we left off yesterday. Bab Dada speaking to Pardadi, Dadi Nirmal Shanta. Baba says, drama is making you move from here and become the instrument to play a part there. Just as you thought about this earlier, so too you are thinking this now. Plans are not made by thinking about them, but against your conscious wish, your part within the drama makes you an instrument to do something. There is great significance in this. You have this blessing. You are an instrument soul who will glorify the name of the Lokic and Alokic families. This is also a special blessing. This is why when people see you, both are remembered. The features of the Lokic father are remembered. And through the features, the future created form is also remembered. Vastadi Chi was the lucky daughter of Prima Baba. And so Baba says both the Lokik as well as the Alokik are remembered. The blessing of glorifying both clans is merged in your every step. This is why the drama is pulling you towards that seat. From time to time, the elevated versions that have been spoken by Bhav Dada are put into practice. You have a special blessing and you also have a special chance for service. You have a chance to do double service through your features and your character. Because those people, gurus, have a spiritual stage. Others have a spiritual experience from their features. However, as you walk and move along, your features and character will reveal the features and character of Brahma Baba. This is a field of extra service. What will everyone say? wherever you go, that they have a feeling of the Father. So your face will also become an instrument for service. So this is double service, is it not? So I'm saying wherever Dali goes, it's like double service. Everyone is reminded of the Lokik as well as the Alokik. Then Bhavtada speaking to Dadi. At present, the game of the invocation of you souls is taking place in the double form. On one side, Bhagat souls without knowledge are invoking you in the form of their special deity of the eight. On the other side, knowledgeable souls as embodiments of knowledge are invoking you. They are invoking you in the same way as the special deities are invoked from the non-living idols. 
However, those people are ignorant about this and they therefore do not experience that sweetness. However, even through their invocation of you, they will experience the attainment of blessings. And so that is double invocation, is it not? Are two idols going, three idols, or are all these special eight idols going? So everyone is going for Seva. So that's why Baba is saying, are two idols going, three idols, or are all these special eight idols going? This is also a special wave. Everyone feels that they are also going with Tabi. What is the reason for this? This is a sign of being close because of love. You are now seeing the practical form of the return of the role that you played for so long according to the drama. The result of your having played the role of an instrument is coming in front of you. At present, you are playing all three parts. We have shown the part of Brahma is of creating, the part of Vishnu is of sustaining, and the part of Shankar is of destroying. Of course, all of that is according to the drama, but each of them has been shown with a speciality. So just now, Baba was seeing what the special virtue of each of the three is. Which image are you? According to the present time, the special roles of all you three are being put into practice. Dadi is just going as an instrument, as an image of support, to bring zeal and enthusiasm and begin a new chapter in the field of service. So she is going as an image of support. And everyone is specially seeing how much of an image of upliftment you are, Didi. Didi Mamotni. Everyone feels both present in the one. To make someone else an instrument means to become an image of upliftment. And this one, Pardad, is an embodiment of being an example. We have given the example of all of you being one in a practical way. So you are an image of support, an image of upliftment, and an image of being an example. Each of you has your own speciality. So all three were going, Dadi Prakashmani, Didi Manmohini, and Dadi Nirmal Shantan. And so Baba says, Dadi Prakashmani is like an image of support, Didi Manmohini, an image of upliftment, and Dadi Nirmal Shanta, an image of being an example. So Baba is describing the specialities of all three of them. And Baba says, at present, the part of Chanak in practical service is that of a true common shell. Janki Dadi says her part is like that of a true corn shell. It's like a shank. In London, both Sudesh and Jayanti have become instruments for service. At present, both have a good stage. You understand that you all have to give your finger together and increase service. At present, souls who are intoxicated and have a good speed in service are visible. This is the practical proof of the atmosphere in all four directions. Everyone's vision is there. Now, 
the pure thoughts of all of you are in that direction also, that something is about to happen. There is the impact on the atmosphere. There is the impact on the atmosphere. How is the practical example of thoughts proved? As soon as you have a thought, it becomes practical. Have you had a heart-to-heart -heart discussion on how to do service through your attitude and awareness? According to the present time, together with words, very good service can take place through thoughts. This happens through your awareness and attitude, which is that of having good wishes. Because everyone considers whatever they have heard to be repetition. Souls who are in contact with you a lot consider a point to be something common. Now teach them the method to do service in a new way. Until you have become experienced, a new form of everything is needed. So what is saying, Abba is inspiring to do service through thoughts. Give them a new experience. You can have a gathering and have such a service program. Make them sit with a special aim and then ask them their experience. They will relate a great deal. Just as you have had a lot of experience of serving through words, and that was the creation of all of you. Now, the addition required in service is to serve through thoughts and attitude. So serving through thoughts, that is awareness and attitude. Make plans for that. It's in 77 that Baba is really inspiring the seed of Mansa Seva. That together with the service, the physical, you know, going around everywhere, this addition of paying attention to serving through awareness, thoughts, and attitude. Baba says, make plans for that. When you begin to enjoy yourself, you will feel that it is the stage of ascent of your newness. Just as scientists remain busy in inventing something or another, in the same way, in order to invent something new from a point that you have already related, sit in meditation at Amrit Vela with this aim and you will be touched. New inventions will emerge through which others will also experience newness. Baba saying to, to be open to receive touching from Baba for newness in Seva. And so when we sit at Amrit Vela with that aim, Baba says just to go deeper into one point and to expand on the stage of ascent. Abba says the new intentions Abba will touch through which newness will be experienced. Acha, Acha, Om, Shanti. So let us take a moment as we go with him. We save our through our thoughts, through our awareness, through our attitude. We realize that 
Baba touches us, our intellects, to expand the seva. Baba sees all of us as image of support, image of upliftment, an image of being an example. We are revealing Baba, glorifying Baba at every step, wherever we go, wherever we are. Our thoughts are with the One, and through the One, we inspire everyone to come closer to Baba. Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, family. Happy Murli, and let us pause and, and see if any thoughts emerge. Please feel free to share. So uh, in this Murli, uh, and Baba is speaking to Bhartali. So there, uh, <clears throat> Baba says many things that uh, the features of that. He is actually um, 
uh, will reveal and it will reveal uh, the future of uh, um, others right will uh, also remember uh, will remind the father Brahma and Dadi seems to be had uh, this blessing I I'm, I never had a chance to um, see or meet that personally or not even face um, um, I'm sure somebody who is in this group might have had that opportunity. So here Baba says a lot thing about Dati where Dati uh, uh, had that you know chance to do a double seva where where Dati goes like because uh, Bab, Bab Dada or Baba will be uh, reminded when somebody sees Dati. And Baba clearly says uh, every action that Dati was performing was equal to Baba that was showing the features and character of Dharma Baba. Um, is there anything that somebody can share that would be really good? Om Shanti, brother. Om Shanti. Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, when I came to the Gyan, I never knew I'd be really put on a golden plate. Most of the dadis, starting first from Goli Dadi, who was my, when I entered Madhuban, the first person to feed me at 2.30 in the afternoon when it was raining was Boli Dadi. So I have had such a privilege of being so close and unsung and with so many of them, starting from Boli Dadi and my dear, 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 dearest Prakash Mani Dadi. I just don't know when I used to sit with her, I used to, when she used to sit in the sun, putting out her hair, I used to slowly touch her hair and all. Like, it, some kind of this, so much I can share really about her, so much so, one day I just went up to the stage and I mimicked like her. Like all these, are, whether it is Chandramani Dadi or Manohar Dadi or the Gulzar Dadi, Dadi Janki, all of these, I had a privilege of being absolutely, absolutely close and absolutely, even the senior brothers like Jagdish Pai, Ramesh Pai and all. But in today's Murli, I was just saying, it is such a goal that one sentence I like, when Brahma Baba's corporeal role finished, People thought, oh, is everything over? No. The role of these jewels started. Till then, it was only Brahma Baba, Brahma Baba, what he said, what he did, they went and come. But I, I, don't, I don't know astrology. I want to know, are these people, these dadis, Brahma Baba satellites or are these planets? I don't know. But each one, I shall tell you, they are unique, just unique. And each one have a special purpose. And it is so this not one competed with the other. Each one supplemented the other for what the other did not have. Like if you say here, Baba is talking about Pardad. And you know, if he, she was her, even physically she belonged to the Brahma Baba clan. So when Baba says, when you are walking up and down, you will remind them of Brahma Baba. That itself, see, each a role he gives, where she is going to glorify Lokik and Alikik, that's what Pardadi did. But Dati Prakashmani, the instrument who was chosen by Brahma Baba when he left his body, what a role Baba has given. I should tell you, she... She's absolutely amazing. She's just a jewel. But I, I had the thing of being close to her. And then even when she left her body, I was, uh, I had the thing of getting the final Rakhi from her. She's absolutely amazing. And her role where Baba says, double invocation. That's what I was in this Murli Baba's given. What is each role of the Dadi? 
Dadi Prakash Manis, yes, you know, she will treat everyone, even a person who's not in Gyan or who is in Gyan and left the Gyan, she'll, like, you know, uh, uh, she'll take everyone in their bosom. For her, everyone was that love which she gave. So we missed Brahma Baba, but I always found that love of bringing the children close to the Yajna, Adi Prakashmani had. She absolutely had that. So even sheep which was lost and gone would come back, would come back to the fold. And how Baba says that she is will be glorified as Ashtadeva. That, and he gives her that image of support, image of uplifting. Dati Janki always, as Baba says, yes, she uh, is her mouth, a spiritual thing which flows from her mouth, her lips, her, she was a real conscience. So much seva. I do not know what uh, jewels come out from her. How does it uh, really give? Uh, it, it's, it's really a rupa person what she spoke. And she, Baba speaks of her wonderful hands, Jainti Ben and Sudesh Ben, whom also I had a lovely chance of being together, both Sudesh Ben and Jainti Ben. And uh, Baba has not mentioned a special dadi uh, over here about Manor dadi. I used to call her the Birbal in the court of uh, Brahma Baba. The kind of uh, lightness she used to spread among them. In fact, I think we should have a session of each of these dadis, a kind of a tableau to really understand. And uh, what, see, these are the people, they are not saints, but these are the people who are really that great knowledge of Shiv Baba through Brahma Baba reaching the millions. And now all of them have gone, all of them have gone. So how much more to, I have so much I can really do, but today's Murli gives, tells us the role, the purpose of each of the Dadi, which is what I think we should really go through each, each paragraph. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Dadi. Om Shanti. Bijit Bhai, is Saurabh Bhai there? He's there. Okay. Yes, sister. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. So, Saurabh Bhai, we would like you to share with us. I have seen her at close, Mohini Ben. See, you are from the US. Because there is some kind, when those days when I have met her, yes, even I had the chance to meet her in New York. You know, now at present, in the Yagya, she's in the front. She's one of her, I think. So there, I have not, like I had with these dadis in Madhuban. Uh, I, yes, there were at times, I remember she used, she fed me once, you know, dahi bath, because she knew I, I very badly needed that. I remember she told uh, Girja Ben Kili, dahi bath banna. That's only one thing I remember. Can you share, you know, she's, uh, she's one of the three sisters I know. Uh, she has got two more sisters, but can you share with us also her role, Moini Benz? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moini Bibi, as you know, has been with Baba since her school or college days. In, in the during the fifties is when she had come to Baba, and then uh, when foreign seva started. So Baba sent her to Guyana in the Caribbean. And that's where um, uncle and auntie, sister Gayatri's lucky parents, they had invited her. And from there on, you know, Seva in the American part of the world started. And then she moved to New York and uh, in around uh, mid to late 70s. And since then, she's been here in New York. And uh, she pretty much oversees you know, she used to oversee the entire region, which is North America, USA, Canada, and the Latin America, Caribbean islands, everything included. And now, according to drama, after 
Dadi Janki and Dadi Kulsar became a Vyak. Then um, Mogiri Didi has been you now given the you know the in responsibility um of you know so she is the um additional um uh, or the joint administrator uh, head along with um Dadi Ratan Mohini. So I have known uh Mohini Didi since I've moved to US. Um so for around 15 to 20 years now. Um, one thing that I always um, see in Moini Didi is she is um, really an all-rounder, meaning she is the perfect manager. She would manage everything perfectly. She is an embodiment of wisdom. Her classes are filled with so much wisdom. Her churning is beautiful, very, very deep. At the same time, she is... Um, she gives very loving sustenance, Palna, to each one individually. She has that heart of a mother. Um, so she is pretty much, she's practical also. Uh, she's loveful also. She's lawful also. So she's a really balanced personality. And um, the word that comes to mind about her is she's like the real embodiment of Vishnu someone who is in a perfect balance. And so, um, you know, no wonder Baba uses her, Baba has been using her as, you know, trans messenger as well. So that part also she has been playing. And um, after COVID, since the last almost three and a half years, as you know, she has been um, the instrument for a Vitti Purivar. That's like every... Every single day, without a break of even one day, she has been continuing her evening classes, sessions for more than three and a half years. So she is really tireless in that way. Although her body is not in the best of conditions, as you know, um, she's been undergoing dialysis for quite some time now. Um, so three days in a week, or rather four days in a week, uh, she undergoes dialysis. Um, but even then, you know, it doesn't really show anything on her face. Her face is, you know, um, so bright and so filled with Baba's energy, Baba's powers always. So, yeah, that's what, you know, I see and um, I learn from Mohini Didi. No, but what I wanted to know, no, there's something in her See, I'm, I won't say that really I can see the knowledge like I see. I don't want to compare. Like I'm just saying, like uh, jewels like Dadi Janki. But when you, especially that Abhyat Parivar thing, which is going on, she just speaks, you know, the lips don't uh, move very much. There is no thing. It is just something I think from her throat, something comes out that hits you. Because I have never seen, I, I know she's a silent, like her sister, Chandra Ben of Mauritius. She's an epitome of silence. But uh, the role which she has been given now, like Dadi Prakashmani was given by Brahma Baba. I just found it, I said, I, I didn't have the chance to really go through with that thing and know the future of that soul. It's, she saw an epitome. So I thought maybe because you were in the U.S. Like I told you yesterday, you know, so many secrets of Babdada's art. I thought maybe, you know, something about Mohini Ben uh, now. That's why I want to ask you, brother. Thank you, brother. Yeah, thank you, sister. Uh, so another aspect is if you look at right, uh, it's not about Mohini Devi. Um, the starting of the Yagya, if you look at it, right? So, uh, initially it was all Tabasya, that was the main focus. And we all know that these uh, they have done 14 years of Tabasya, which is something uh, you know, made their foundation very, very strong. Right, and we can't even think of having uh, such a long tabasya at this point. Right, it's it's not. Um, I don't think it is possible. Uh, and uh, yeah, 
like can you say and said every that is a unique is just uh, the same mostly that they read the same kind of sustenance it from receipt yet they all remained unique um, and everyone was perfect right uh, in their uh, perspective the way they came uh, the way they uh, showcased or uh, mm, uh, uh, sustained others or with their qualities they remained uh, the best and uh, very unique uh, very nice and uh, we all know at the beginning time that is they all used their power of tapasya to establish the lekya so um, right so we take if any that they, they all have a great story or uh, not story i mean you can think that their experience how they built that stage is really wonderful and i think one uh, point that which papa mentioned here uh, which connects that is the amrtavela so when um, you know amrtavela papa gives them the teaching about service how to do what to do all sort of things all questions i think they um, kind of um, sort out there Uh, they had the capacity i believe they had the capacity to catch papa's every message and uh, act upon um, uh, according to papa's direction though they are not physically present right in front of prema uh, papa or papa so they could um, they had the capacity to capture all the messages um <clears throat> right so um uh baba says uh, in this murli also the vela is the uh, best time for uh, for new invention for any doubt or anything that we have or if we have a plan to invent something a uh, you know, type of seva then i think we, sh- we should utilize the time to uh, you know to, to be touched by baba for anything um so um, my focus will be um, today um, uh, to inspire some of the uh, some of the lovely words that papa said about that is since he i can you know take it to a, a different level turn more and more about it and then make my day more memorable thank you thank you all. thank you brother Bijit Bai, you were saying uh, tapasya brought the dadis. You know what brought the dadis together? It was love for Brahma. Every dadi who came, it was that Brahma which attracted them. So it was all these only. I remember Jaga Dadi Prakash Mani used to say, "Arey Baba, 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 bolo." Or kya hai? Chiloni se. And the way she said that word Baba, you know, it was a child like Baba, Baba. You know, I I loved that kind of innocent thing. So that is why what I do is yes, as you said, we have to know it. See, we have not seen Mama. At least I have not seen Mama, and I have not seen Brahma Baba. but i've seen some of these wonderful dadis and these wonderful pandavas i just when i go to the satu region i keep them as my guardian angels before even i meet brahma i just go to the nation letter as if i have taken from them i invoke these dadis and as somewhere even a kind of a physical closeness i had with them i i do that yes these points and all are important and we should be so proud we should be so proud that we have such wonderful examples in front of us i think that itself uh, keeps me earning so robert i wanted to ask you one more thing vedanti ben and mohini ben brahma baba had told them some secrets earlier i'm trying to find out from the web Uh, i couldn't get are you aware of it Brahm, some kind of blessing he gave both mohini ben and it was also nirmala didi which i got to know now and vedanti ben a very special blessing are you aware of it um no i'm sorry yeah i've got to be yeah yeah I uh, this is Kirsha uh, Ben. Uh, see, I my point here um, 
you know, this Hriday Pushpadati writer who was in Bangalore, so I heard this um, when Hriday Pushpadati came to Bangalore, uh, she had no contacts, uh, she was not knowing anybody, so um, all Dati did was just uh, uh, seated on one place under a tree and then began doing the Tabasya and Baba started giving Dati uh, different, different um, direction and Dati was able to capture that and uh, and that's where uh, Didi, uh, um, I forgot the piece name, uh, came in, uh, who is in Malaysia and just now, uh, came into knowledge and then became uh, a right hand of uh, Depush Padati and service took place um, uh, very well in Bangalore, as you all know. So, um, so these dhatis, of course, they had so much of love for Brahma, that's very true. Uh, probably that is one, that uh, they, that intense love for Baba, that could be the reason why they were able to capture every direction that which Baba used to give them, uh, though they were not physically present in front of Baba. There are many, many stories uh, how the Dhabis established the Yakya to, from, uh, from nothing to so big. And so I, I, I believe it was that the main foundation is the Tabasya and of course the love for Baba. Rupesh, and we move on to meditation. Oh, yeah. So let's take a moment. Just like our ancestors, our seniors, dadis, Embodied love for Baba, love for your care. All of us souls, we belong to the same dynasty. We also carry those sun scars. So we re emerge in ourselves. the sanskar of belonging to Baba. Just like that is, Baba uses us to be images of support for the world, images of upliftment for all souls, and images of being an example to reveal Baba. We stay in our self-respect, in our awareness of being beyond, staying beyond with Baba. And through our features, through our stage, through our actions, we reveal Baba. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Dati Misty. Um, thank you, Sarabhai. Thank you, Divine Family. We shall meet again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Until then, enjoy your day having seated on Baba's, you know, uh, path through. Om Shanti.